Our guest today, Liam McMorrow, the Canadian. Yep. Did they tell you, first of all, welcome to Marquette. Thanks. Did they tell you there's a history of Canadians, former Canadian players here, Bell Joseph, yep. Richard Shaw? I heard I'm the tallest one, though. I think so, and uh, you've got to be a seven-footer. I am, seven foot on the dot. Still growing, or is this it? it there's a possibility of it, but uh, I think because my feet stop growing, that maybe the height will stop, but maybe seven two by the time I get to play. We'll see. Give people some background. Where you're from, uh, family members, other basketball players. Uh, well, this is your life. You yeah. Know? I, w I was originally born in Vancouver, British Columbia, so that's on the west coast of Canada. Um, when I was just w one, one years old, a couple months, we moved out to Toronto. Uh, spent all my life there. Played hockey and lacrosse growing up. Uh, I have two older brothers, Sean and Patrick. Um, I an older sister, Catherine. It's my mom, Sheila. Uh, step stepfather, Ernest. Did you get too tall to be a hockey player, or did you just uh, realize you were better at basketball? Uh, I realized I should probably take up the basketball with the, with the height, and uh, tried tried my best at it last year, and turned out great. So that is the amazing part. You've been playing bas organized basketball how many years? At this point, it's been about 14 months along in my basketball career. You are from Canada. You, we got our first about. <laughs> yeah, about about. About. We about. Got it. <laughs> I don't want to question coaches in Canada, but at some point earlier than that, I would have thought someone suggested, Liam, maybe basketball. You know what? In, in high school, the coaches did start trying to get on me to, 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 to come out, and basketball just wasn't my thing. I said, I don't know it. I'm not, I'm not going to put myself out there. Well, two years after high school, I'm, I'm working at this point. I'm, I have a full-time job, and... I have a very supportive girlfriend, Stephanie, and my mom, and, they're, and both of their influences just go to school, you know, you might as well try basketball, what are you going to do if you're 40 years old and you, you never even tried that game, you know, you, you're an athlete, it's not like you're just a seven foot guy who, who hasn't had any sports experience, you're, you're, you're an athletic guy, so you might as well try. I ended up getting a scholarship um, out of school in Canada, just, just east of Toronto. I did fairly well, I guess, and uh, here I am now. How did you find out? How did Marquette find out about you, the connection? Uh, the connection was I finished up the year at Durham. I wasn't really sure where I was headed for next year. I, w I was starting to be contacted by a whole bunch of Canadian universities. And what had happened is Coach Buzz um, coached our graduate assistant, Jamie McNeely, when he was in New Orleans in his senior year. So Jamie and I lived five, five minutes away from each other in Toronto, but we'd never met before this. So Jamie takes me for a run with some guys that play overseas and relays how I play back to Buzz and I end up here June 26th. That was a great story. <laughs> yeah. And then the other story is your brother is a professional hockey player yep, who will is. be in Milwaukee competing against the Admirals. Yep, now all I heard was, I don't know why I've been holding all this stuff, like, <laughs> that guy gets in penalties and fights, all he does is fight. Yeah, he's, well, his, his role on the team would be an enforcer, so he protects other players, he'll, he'll, he'll fight if he's told by the coach to change the momentum of the game and get 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 up get the guys going get the fans going so that's his role and he's, he's very good at it if you look on youtube or whatever Steve internet site you don't seem like you have the same characteristics are you well will you be the enforcer or i will be the enforcer here me and me and chris should have a pretty pretty uh hard-nosed job you um, smile a lot for an enforcer that's the thing <laughs> with sean as well like outside of the court he's, he's the nicest guy you could ever meet and he's, he's, he's great to speak with he interviews well um everything like that so which but as soon as you get on the court you he, just he'll kill you yeah and switch his role switch you him like I that i was gonna ask you if you were a golden eagle what would you eat <laughs> <laughs> finish this sentence for me if you're a golden eagle and you're starving what are you gonna eat i don't know you say what <laughs> what are you gonna eat <laughs> what are you gonna eat man training table <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably eat uh, one of these. A bear here. cat, a, a panther. Yeah, that's actually a pretty tricky question now that I got asked. Is so that an interest that you have at some point? Uh, I do have an interest in, in broadcasting field. I'm not sure which, which part of it, if I want to be a producer or a director, or in front of the camera, behind the camera. But broadcasting is my major right now, so uh, give looking us a into slap. that. You got a slap shot? I don't think you need a slap shot, but. Yeah, I used to be pretty good with the puck. Yeah. Slap shot would just be like that. <laughs> Got to have good form, get that, that back leg up and everything. Now, in a perfect world, where are you going to be around the basket? What is Coach Williams going to ask you? I want to be 
anywhere in the paint here. Um, they don't really want me taking shots outside of the paint. So my, my house is going to be in here. All right, I'm feeding it to you. Yeah, you I'm want it bouncing? How, how do you want it? Probably want it up here. Right up there, OK. Yeah. I'm going to bring it right here right away. Probably going to fake this way. A little left hook shot there, maybe fake here. A little right there. But it's probably where I want it, right here. About. About. There about. Liam McMorrow, welcome to Marquette. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coach, interesting young man. How do you feel about guys in high school playing more sports than basketball? Or are you someone that says, no, they should just focus on one sport? No, I think that's good. I think you want to play as many sports as you can. I think that's where you learn to be a great teammate. I think that's where you learn to compete. Uh, I, yeah, I think it's positive. I'm not, I'm not into that. <laughs> of course, I wasn't good enough to play any of them very well, so I wanted to play all of them. We got a special segment coming up next. We're going to hear from the former Marquette.